AC guy 1948 here going to be uh, doing I believe this is part four uh, we were able to pick up the book I think I fixed the, um, the hissing noise on my microphone I just had it turned up too loud I guess at least I hope I did because I noticed in the last video I uploaded it was kind of like the whole time I'm gonna go get that doorbell Sounds like the doorbell. Hi again, George. It's not like a government employee to make a mistake, but I forgot to deliver this important letter for your Uncle Chuck. He's busy in his workshop and can't be disturbed. I'll take it for him. Okay, Dolores. Here it is. And remember, it's illegal to open someone else's mail. Punishable by a $50,000 fine and or five years in jail. Thanks, George. That's good to know. Okay. Back to my vitally important government job. Well, looks like we're going to either go to jail or have a fine to pay. <laughs> that's the that's what you have to do. Put the, uh, use the letter in the microwave. Then you use the glass with the faucet. The glass is now filled with water. Okay, and now you can put that in there. And you close the microwave. You can use it. And that'll, uh loosen up the adhesive and it will let you get into the envelope and take the stamps off. Okay. I don't think you need the glass of water for anything. Now, got to mix up some ink for the printer. So it's you, special gas for chainsaws only. It's pretty for full. Chainsaws and for the making ink. The ink bottle is now mostly full with gas. Oh no, I didn't do the Well, let's see if I can do do this real quick. I forgot to get the uh, log and put it in the fireplace. Cuz you got to have uh, ashes to put in that or soot so you can uh, make it ink. that uh 256 rooms eight parameters live on a separate monitor 256 sounds okay let's see if i can do this please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language you must get all of the questions right to submit your application first question what is the total number of sounds that can be defined for a game it's 256. Next question. Okay. Variables can be modified while debugging your program. I believe so. Next question. So when far, I haven't gotten any wrong. Scrolls, it moves by. Smooth scrolling. Thank you for taking the Mucus nope, Clem programming it. test. Unfortunately, you did not pass. Feel free to study up and take it again. One of my other playthroughs, I think it was Clem. smooth scrolling. Uh, they can be uh, at one time compressed. Screen scrolls by eight pixels. Okay. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. First question. What is the total number of sounds that can be defined for a game? That's 256. Next question. Variables can be modified while debugging your program. That's true. Next question. When the screen scrolls, it moves by... 8 pixels. Next question. How many parameters can functions take? Oh, 8. Thank you for no, taking the Mucus Flem programming test. Congratulations, oh, you passed okay. the Mucus Flem programming test. Yay! I answered all the Mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. Okay, now this is what you need the ink for. Got to go downstairs.
If anything's different, it's because I uh, started a recording and then, uh, yeah, I didn't get that yet. I started a recording for this next part and then uh, it didn't save for some reason. I don't know if I just didn't save it or what happened. Carefully handling broken glass. If this were a Sierra Online graphic adventure, I'd be dead now. But those Mucus Phlegm adventure games treat their players much better. No arbitrary deaths just to extend gameplay. Sure would like to work there. I don't know. I like having extra death scenes. It was interesting. Okay. Now you have to actually look at the bottle, otherwise you won't of drink it. Extreme chili sauce by Brian H. J. comes with a warning: you might breathe fire. Maybe I should be careful with this. You use the log in the fireplace, and then you use the hot sauce. Okay. You can either leave the room or put t use the glass of water. Great. Pick up the suit. Now I'm carrying around a handful of black soot. You use the suit in the um The ink bottle is now full of black ink. Ink bottle and there's your ink. Okay, now you gotta use the ink bottle with the print on. That should do it. The ribbon is now fully inked. So you gotta reuse. Yay! I Excuse answered all the me. questions correctly. You gotta reuse I'm ready to the print out the application. Computer. I always like to watch this part. Now I just need to stamp the envelope. Okay, and we've already got the stamps. My stamps letter to Mucus Flem is now stamped and ready to mail. Alright, now we can go back down to the mailbox. A lot of back and forth in this area. And then you just use Digging. the letter on the mailbox. How exciting! I hope I get the job! <laughs> she just stood there the whole time. Hiya, Dolores! I have a letter for you! Oh! Good luck! See ya! Diggin'? Diggin'! Then you gotta go all the way back to her room. Because she won't, doesn't want to open the letter anywhere else. Nope, nope. Okay, and he got to go do open letter a few times for now it to open Now that I'm it. in my room, I'm still st Okay, but if it's a no, that means I'm stuck. Okay, but if it's a yes, what will become... Okay, but... Okay, okay, I'm opening it. Yes! It's a job offer for Mucus Phlegm to be a game programmer. I'm so excited! Can't wait to tell Uncle Chuck. He'll be so proud. Yeah. But first... <laughs> okay. I don't know if I said this before, but uh, <coughs> all those other doors, they just lead to other doors. There's nothing in there. Unless they Uncle change Chuck something. Uncle Chuck never makes his bed. Unless they change something in an update, Hello, but I didn't hear anything about that. Uncle Chuck! Uncle Chuck! Great news! Yes, Dolores, what is it, my dear future leader of Pillotronics? I, uh... <laughs> here, read this. You're what? You're giving up the opportunity to run Pillotronics to be, uh... To be, uh... Game programmer? Yes, that's what I've always wanted to do. Not run Pillowtronics. I'm leaving on the first bus out of Thimbleweed Park. 
Then, Dolores, you are out of my will. You're giving up over ten million dollars. That's twenty million in 2017 dollars. <laughs> Just to pick an arbitrary date in the future. You are dead to me. Dolores broke Uncle Chuck's heart and started programming those murder simulators. Real life murder is the next logical step for her, sweetie. Stop her before she schemes her way into sweet Uncle Chuck's inheritance. <laughs> Sure. That's what you're we'll really worried right about. That. I'm sure you have cats to feed, sweetie. Ciao. Alright. Let's see. Next thing I gotta do is find a map. <coughs> Speck of dust. Um, let's see. To do the map... You've got to go. Oh, that's a dime. It's a dime just lying there. I think I picked that up in my other playthrough of this. Or, not playthrough, I just mean the other videos. Because I had to restart it, this section. That's what that's for. That's giving you a hint. Bo redeem bottles for five cents. Okay. So. I can't reach that. Can't get the speck of dust? I can't reach that. How do you get it? Hmm. Can't get it. It's a speck of dust. Okay, pick it up. No. Huh. Anyway. Um, got to come here. Well, first thing I'll do, I'll go see if he's got the bottle. I need to stay focused. Yeah, he's it's got the bottle. It's an empty soda bottle. Five cent deposit in Massachusetts, Hawaii, California, Arkansas, Idaho, Wisconsin, Nevada... Georgia, Virginia, Connecticut, <laughs> Vermont, Maryland, Kansas, North Carolina, Texas, Montana, Tennessee, South Dakota, District of Columbia, Florida, South Carolina, Washington, Arizona, Minnesota, <laughs> Jersey, Jeez. Delaware, Kentucky, Maine, Ohio, Mississippi, Illinois, North Dakota, Nebraska, Alaska, Colorado, Louisiana, New York, New Mexico, Missouri, West, <laughs> Colorado, Island, through them all. Iowa, Wyoming, Pennsylvania, Oklahoma, Oregon, Indiana, Alabama, and Michigan. Okay. <laughs> I had never read that before. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? No, oh, I gotta give bottle. Can't use it. Hi there, I'm Quickie Pal. So that was a nice little I hint. I... I'd like five cents back for cleaning up the environment. Well, I'd like five cents from you for taking your bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Quickie pal humor. Here you go. All right. I wish there was something you could do with that. I don't have an extra finger though. Let me. Okay. Now, in order to get the map, darn it, I messed up. Because now he's gonna have to go there because he's got the nickel. So I guess I could just have her walk all the way to the... Oh, well. Can you get to I can't reach that. Okay. I don't know how to get that one, then. Welcome to the Thimbleweed Nickel. Eight years of experience and two degrees in journalism tells me you're a fed. Nice chatting. Got a murder to... Please don't mess with the police scanner. I'm waiting for a call about a woman by the mansion being noisy. Okay. All oh, right, she's back there. All right. That's it. So what you got to do here is go up and use the police radio. It's a police radio. Looks like it's on and ready to use. Attention all units. I believe it was woman. 
Uh, hold the state. Is it smiling for no reason? Enough screwing around. No. I've got a case to Darn solve. It. I forgot already. Please don't mess with the police scanner. I'm waiting for a call about a woman by the mansion being, being noisy. noisy. Okay, it wasn't smiley for no reason. Attention all units. Uh, Running a leaf blower. Okay. It's not much, but we're short a story on page four. I'll be back soon. Okay, now you can switch to him and pick up the uh, the map. You got to use the map on the no, oh, not circus flyer. Use the uh, map on the copytron. You got to use the nickel in the copytron. What a nice copy, and in color too. Okay, and you got to put back the put this back. It doesn't matter which one you put back in the frame. Okay, so now we got a map. So now we can go off to the other uh, areas. Whoa there, little agent of Reno. You can't just go bumbling around the county without a map. It's too easy to get lost. There is a killer Reno on the loose. I have an official map right here. Oh, <laughs> I see. Well, uh, that looks uh, legit, Reno. Hmm. Odd. <laughs> I thought I... Yeah, well, I guess the law is the law. I guess I'd better return all these maps to the quickie pal. Alright, now we can start putting pieces together to make an arrest warrant. I feel like we're getting close to cracking this case. The only thing you're getting close to cracking is my patience with you. Let's work together and I can get on with my... I mean... We can get out of this town as quickly as possible. Agreed. Uh, yeah. We need to identify the body using the face tron with a photo of the body and the victim's photo ID. You mean like a driver's license or passport? Or Burger Shack loyalty card recognized around the world? Okay, I think I know how to get all that. Um. We need to have a chat with the geeky programmer at the old mansion. There is something odd about her. Yeah, a woman with a brain. Definitely suspicious. Okay, so... Let's get cracking. <sighs> uh, first place I want to go... I don't think you can do anything there yet. The radio station, that's a new one to me. Um, circus Hotel, I think we can get... Uh, get a room do something with the room number we have you're investigating here too I wouldn't go in there if I were you what do you mean why shouldn't I go in because you're probably superstitious and would believe all that claptrap about paranormal activity in the hotel. Paranormal? Really? That's terrible. How serious are the reports? Should I be worried? Uh, given that there's no such thing as ghosts, you'll be fine. Okay. What are you doing here? Well, Chuck's brother Franklin went missing a few weeks ago. Is he the body by the bridge? Nope. But this report is no says there's something odd about the whole thing. I'm working up a story, but the only lead I have is someone seeing him here briefly a few weeks ago. 
He was seen around the lobby area. Then he just vanished. Big day today. I'm meeting some promising investors. I know they'll believe in my plan to turn the dying pillow factory into a highly profitable stuffed toy factory. It can't fail. Just gotta check into a room without Chuck knowing about it. He has eyes and ears everywhere. I'll need a disguise. Also need to copy this prospectus so I can give it to the investors and keep my copy. Chuck wouldn't know a good idea if it hit him. Stuffed toys of the future. What l I have no idea what they're doing. Okay. Oh, I can't remember what you gotta do to get this kid's, uh... It's been lipstick to death. And I don't feel like cleaning up after hotel guests right now. It's locked. The doors are closed. Oh gosh. Um, I don't remember. That's weird. I swear I pushed the penthouse button. Must be broken. Okay. There is something you gotta do with the computer, but I think only when you're a ghost. Uh. I'm not using that. Chuck's probably monitoring every keystroke. Why, hello, Mr. Edmund. We weren't expecting you in today. What can I do for you, Abu, sir? Do you have photocopying here? But of course we do, Abu. Abu, Abu, Abu. That is to say, we normally do, but uh, we've run out of paper, Abu. Unless I get more paper, Abu, I won't be able to help you out. Yes, that's the sheriff. And the coroner. <laughs> I'm going to go now. You didn't see me. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. I can't talk to him like this. I have to put on a disguise to fool Chuck and his spies. Oh. I think you gotta talk to him. Hey, dude. What's your damage? Okay. Yo, dude. What's that jacket you're wearing? The latest and greatest jacket. It zips in the front. Don't most jackets do that? <sighs> you're too old to understand. Won't you quit playing that music? You're not my dad. You can't tell me what to do. Ah, oh, don't you just love this music? I can't remember what you're supposed to do here. The doors are closed. It's still showing December 1986. I guess they couldn't afford a new one for 1987. Um. Darn, there is nothing there. I think it was like 11? This guy's appearance. You gotta get that kid's stuff, but can't remember what you gotta give him. It's locked. It's locked. And I think we're gonna be hearing that quite An a bit. An ashtray for the smoker. It's locked. It's locked. An ashtray for the smokers. The doors are closed. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. Okay. That's gonna get annoying quick. <laughs> Um, maybe it was nine. One of them, I th or is that later? One of them's like the rooms on display, and you can go it's in. It's locked. The oh, okay. Maybe there was something I could have read that would have told me. Uh, ah. It's a photo of a perfectly clean deluxe room. Okay, now there's something you gotta do with this, too. 
stationary. I think that can be used as paper. It's turned off. Phone book. No. Okay. It's hotel stationery. That is, it's a mostly blank piece of paper. Okay, I think you gotta collect all these. It's hotel stationery. That is, it's a mostly blank piece of paper. I'm starting to get into untraveled territory for how far I made it on the hard mode. I hope this is the right thing to be doing. It's my precious, dazzling four page pers Okay. That's something need to say how many pages were there. It's an unplugged TV. Someone must have left it here. It's the doors are closed. What are we on? Nine? Ten? It's locked. Oh, they have red lights on them. That just now hit me. The doors are closed. Very, very good. <laughs> well, anyone who is getting bored by this can just skip ahead. <laughs> I'll get there eventually. Thought there was something else you had to do here. Maybe not. Unless it's random and. Okay, maybe I did all I can. No. Just go down to the main floor again. I remember what you're supposed to do as a kid. I think you're supposed to show him one ear. I could do a both a hug and a nap right now, but I've got to get ready for my meeting. Want this bear? Oh, I guess I don't know. I guess he can't hear me. Hey, dude! 
What's your damage? Want to trade your stuff for a teddy kid? <laughs> Why would I want that, dweeb? It's bonk. Ah, oh, don't you just love this music? Oh, maybe uh, talk. Hey, dude. What's your da- Yo, dude. What's on your face? They're the latest and greatest nose glasses from the Jason the News Guy adventure game from Mucus Flem Games. With these on, no one knows who I am. What's on your feet? The latest and greatest Reeboks. I just got them. Aren't they rad? What's with all the latest and greatest? I'm not grody like you. Everyone knows that unless you got the latest and greatest, you might as well barf. I'm not risking my reputation by touching anything that's not like the latest and greatest. What if I said you didn't have the latest and greatest stuff? <laughs> like barf me out. All my stuff is totally the latest and the greatest. Your glasses are not the latest and greatest. These glasses have got to be the latest and greatest, aren't they? Did something newer come out? <laughs> nah, you're wigging. I can't trust a dweeb like you. I would totally know what was the <laughs> latest and greatest. Oh yeah? I bet you don't know anything about what's the greatest right now in 1987. Prove you're not just an old dweeb from the 50s. Sure, I can prove it. I'm totally bodacious because I can talk like you and... Oh gosh. Um, I might have to look this one up because I don't know. Uh, groovy, that's like 70s. Um, fly homey? Eh, gnarly sounds right. MTV, was that a thing in the 80s? I don't know. I'm not that old. <laughs> No, YOLO wasn't it. Uh, bees knees, no. Tells me what's wicked and what'll gag me with a spoon. Whoa! Okay, you I got it. it. <laughs> I totally believe you know what's tight right now. When you've got something new... 87's to a little bit before my it. time. Until then, I'm gonna rock out. Ah, oh, don't you just love this music? I could do with both a hug and a nap right now, but I've got to get ready for my meeting. Oh, well, now I gotta shut it off again. Hmm. Guess you can't hear me. It's very tedious, hey, everything dude, you gotta do. Damage. Dude, check out this rad new pillow bear. It's righteous. Big time righteous. I'll do you a favor and trade you. You do that for me? Oh, sick. Who? what do you want to trade? Glasses. I'll trade you the bear for your glasses. No faking. Gag me. Your glasses totally make you look like a dweeb. <laughs> <laughs> Take the glasses then. Quick, before anyone notices I have them. First, here's my used gum for your collection. Uh, I don't have a gum collection. Uh, never mind that. Now give me that bear so I rock it out. Sure, er, dweeb dude. Er, gnarlicious. Er, I can't keep this up. Let's get this over with. Here it is. Later, dude. <laughs> All right. Good. So now you can use the hotel manager is right there. He's one of Chuck's spies. I'd better not change into my disguise while he's near. Okay. Well, we'll go. The up. Doors are closed. Get in the elevator and slot. A disguise to make my forgettable face even more invisible. Ouch. Nobody can recognize make me you now forget. with this foolproof disguise. <laughs> Okay, so now I should be able to get uh, copies to made. Welcome Hotel, most beautiful hotel abu in the tri Thimbleweed Park County area. How may I be a boo of service? Do you have photocopying here? But of course we do, abu. Abu, abu, abu. That is to say, we normally do, but uh, we've run out of paper, abu. Unless I get more paper, abu, I won't be able to help you out. I can use this as photocopying paper. That should be all the paper, Abu, I need. What would you like to photocopy? 
static electricity. <laughs> um, a glass of water. <laughs> toys, but... Um, I guess this I better go for that. Sure thing, Abu. Well, that's all I need. I'll be back in a jiffy, Abu. One task done. Now right. I should check into a room to prepare for the meeting. All right. Well, talk to him again, because we're ready to do. Welcome back to the Edmund Hotel. How may I be a boo of service? Like I'd like to check in. in. Okay, sir. What's your name, Abu, for the booking? Franklin, um, Frank Zappa. Of course, Mr. Zappa. We have a lovely suite Abu for you on the 11th floor. Your suite has been fitted with the new state-of-the-art Abu Hotel Tron. Okay, that's what you need that, new um... technology, Abu, that we're still fitting out the rooms on the 10th floor. How else may I be a boo of service? I'm going to look at my, I mean, your beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. Say the 11th floor? It's the key card for my yeah. room. I wasn't paying attention. I was talking. <laughs> But yeah, you got to take that uh, picture there and put it up in front of the the camera. I'm no 4. And somehow these people have your number instantly. They know you're at 1104. Hello. Yes, only on Tuesdays. Yes. I'm almost ready for our meeting. I've just got to wrap up a couple more things. I'll call you back when I'm ready. What's that monstrosity? A Hoteltron. Chuck must have had them installed recently. I'll have to find a way to stop it recording my meeting. Uh, let's see. I think that's the standard. Yeah. I don't think I've ever had the deluxe room come up. Oh, you gotta use uh, the bubble gum too. It doesn't work with that. Okay, now you can use the. Uh... Waiting. What was that? I guess it was nothing. Looks like the Tron machines are All working right. perfectly. No reaction. Perfect. Now Chuck will have no idea what I do in my meeting. I'm finally ready for that meeting. Better give the investors a call to let them know they can come up. Okay, call investors. But what's the investor's number? It's a copy of my dazzling prospectus. You can come up oh, to my okay. room now. I'm ready. Just like there's no name, there's no number. I don't know what... Uh... Back to being plain old Franklin. That was quick. Oh, it's you. How did you know I was here? Franklin was never seen again. I asked the sheriff for more information, but there was nothing. No body, no Franklin. Some of the more superstitious types claim he's haunting this hotel. But those of us dedicated to fact-finding know that must be poppycock. That's an interesting story. So Franklin's dead as well? No one knows for sure if he's dead. Isn't it a great time to be a journalist in Thimbleweed Park? One missing, a mystery body, and Chuck died of a heart attack. Did you find out the identity of the body in the river yet? We're still working on it. Have there been any obstruction arenas to your investigation? What do you think? Enough said. <laughs> Thanks for all the information. See you later. If you find out anything publishable, stop by the nickel to let me know. All right. Well, I think I'm going to call that an episode. So... Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.